Hi, this is Bao Kong Lu for Releve Design. Today I'm going to show you the basics of fusing plastic bags. I like to use fused plastic because the material is easily available and versatile. I use it in quite a few of my projects. I made a cardboard tray and lined it by fusing a plastic bag directly on the cardboard. I also made handles for the tray by fusing plastic around a nylon cord. My junk mail and magazine vases have removable fused plastic linings. This lets me fill them with water for fresh flowers. I created plastic versions of my origami accessories with squares of fused plastic. These are great because they're more durable than the paper versions. Fused plastic is waterproof, flexible, easy to work with, and a cinch to make. Let's get started. Here's what you'll need. One plastic bag, a pair of scissors, wax paper, parchment paper, or copy paper. Forgo used copy paper. Ink from the paper may transfer onto your iron or the plastic. Use new copy paper. You can always print on the paper after you're done using it to fuse your plastic. I'm going to use wax paper because it's what I have in my kitchen at the moment. One clothes iron and one towel or ironing board. First, cut off the bottom seam of the bag. Now cut off the handles. I usually like to put the scraps back on top to fuse it with the rest of the bag, but for this demo, we'll set them aside. Flatten out the bag. You'll notice we'll end up with a two-ply sheet of fused plastic. If you're using a towel, lay it out on your work surface. I prefer using towels because I find it easier to fuse sheets of plastic on a larger surface. If the plastic bag has printed graphics, turn the bag inside out. This prevents the bag's ink from transferring onto your wax paper or iron and smudging everywhere. Lay a protective sheet of wax, parchment, or copy paper underneath the bag. Place a second sheet on top. Set your iron on polyester or rayon and turn off the steam. Iron the plastic bag running the hot iron from the center outwards. This prevents air from getting trapped in the bag and forming bubbles. If you do find bubbles, you can pop them with a pin and iron over them again. Keep the iron moving at all times, running over the entire surface two to three times. The plastic bag will smoothen and the protective sheets will adhere to the plastic bag. Be careful to run the iron over the protective sheet only, not directly on the plastic bag. Otherwise, you might melt the bag onto your work surface and your iron. Turn the plastic bag over while keeping it sandwiched between the protective sheets. Iron this side of the plastic bag. Allow the fused plastic to cool. Once it's cooled to the touch, carefully peel off the protective sheets. If the plastic isn't fused completely, Sandwich it between two protective sheets and iron again. The plastic bag is now fused. It's thicker and more durable. Fused plastic is a material you can use in countless projects. For tips and more projects, visit relevedesign.com. This is Bao Kong Lu for Releve Design. I hope you join us next time.